What's going on guys? So I keep breaking third gears on this thing uh, on the street. Every time I, uh, I'm spinning second and throw third, I just keep shredding third gear. Um, I now have four, four transmissions at the house that have no third gear. So I uh, did some research and I uh, got with a guy who messaged me on Instagram about uh, some gears and ended up buying a gear from uh, the Philippines, a straight cut third gear. Um, should either be here today or tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to pull apart this transmission um, a little bit and then uh, get it ready for tomorrow or today whenever that gear comes. And I'm just going to show you guys how it's done. So this is a 92 to 95 um, Civic EX or SI transmission. It's a S20. Um, code on it is right here. It's B000. And that is... Uh, you know the short gear transmission of the year so I just pressure clean this one up a little bit um, you know pop it in neutral I'm just gonna pull it apart and and show you what's got to be done um, this little Allen here needs to come out the speedometer needs to come out needs to be in neutral and then this big plug here that you use for when you're filling uh, behind that is a snap ring then once you take that out you take these 12s that come here and split the case half apart and that's it so I'm gonna get started and I'll show you This transmission does have a broken third gear in it right now. This is the transmission I went 1050 on. And it is completely stuck. So, there's a pile of third gear and part of the shift fork. And there's third gear. It's completely destroyed. Nothing left on third gear. Down here, it's a little 12 millimeter bolt. You gotta pull that out for the gear selector. And then these two tens over here to get the reverse gear and whatnot out. So once you pull that out, out of the way. Get that out. And reverse pin comes out and then you got to get that 12 millimeter over here out
too well on the camera. that's out then you should be able to pull the whole assembly out all right so gear just got here it's a 1.26 uh, technically it's a fourth gear from this kit but uh, it's interchangeable with a third gear third gear is a 1.25 from the factory and uh, we got some classic Florida, Florida weather going on so as you know all the best builds are done in the rain so here you go MTM close gear ratio it's a straight cut gear and there she is looks very nice uh, we're going to get uh, started on reassembly. Also, I did end up finding a uh, another 3-4 shift fork that uh, wasn't broken in one of my other transmissions. So I did swap that out. Uh, so I have a full uh, good set of shift forks as well. So, alright, let's get it going. Everything looks good, everything's lining up on all the old original witness marks. Looks good. Spinning freely, so good to go. Finish putting the case half on and differential and whatnot back in. Actually I gotta pull all that back out and slide the differential back in, but that's okay. Just wanted to make sure everything was working. But we'll do that real quick and Get it going. Alright, sorry, battery died. Alright, so anyway, pull it back out, got the differential back in. Um, you know, I do still run a stock diff, open diff. As you can see, not an LSD in there, nothing fancy. Just a stock diff. Works fine. Doesn't doesn't one tire fire or anything like that. It, if I go in a straight line, both tires are spent. So that's why I haven't put an LSD in the car because as of now I haven't been just spending one tire, so hasn't been a real issue. Alright, put this thing back together. I mean everything works. We got differential back in the car.
and there are some of these uh, springs like this one here, and then uh, some of the detent springs that you can replace on this thing to uh, make it shift a little better. I think there's a couple companies that sell them. I know Speed Factory sells them. <clears throat> but I still haven't changed any of that because it feels fine to me. So it, it can be a little sloppy, it's not a big deal. I don't normally miss too much. The only gear I normally miss, like the track, is uh, first to second because uh, you know I'm spinning first. It's hard to get it in second when you're spinning spinning first. So. You gotta, if you watch my, my videos of the track, you can see I kind of babied in the second a little bit. And that's because I have to if I want to get it in gear. So I got a nice real thin layer of uh, Honda Bond on there. As you can see how thin it is. Real thin. Done this a few times. I've never had one leak. So that's it. Now, hardest part is getting this snap ring in here back aligned with this groove on the final drive. Hey guys. All right. Uh, so the transmission's all built and uh, back together, reassembled right there. Um, so 
I'm gonna pull the one that's in there out and uh, throw this one in. And then uh, after we're all done, I'll go for a quick little drive, make sure everything's good. But uh, we're gonna get it pulled apart. I'll just probably speed this up, just try to go through it real quick. Right now I have the headlight out, uh, just because I'm mocking up uh, a little headlight scoop that I was gonna make. Um, my brother and I are trying to uh, design one with a 3D printer <clears throat> that we can just 3D print and then possibly even put a little projector off to the side here. Um, and then I'll just leave it like that because I don't drive this car except for when I'm going out to play. So it doesn't really make any difference uh, whether or not it's always like that or not. So anyway, I'm going to get started and uh, get this thing torn apart and get that tranny out. All right, that's that. It's done. Um, I mean, I wasn't even trying to go fast. The only thing I got to do now is pop the axles in and the tires. But I'm actually gonna uh, replace the front brakes with a uh, EX 95 EX front spindles. Uh, this is a, a 93 VX body, so it's got the little 8.8 inch rotors. So I'm actually gonna take these off since I'm already this far. Uh, pop those off and throw the 10.2 uh, inch rotors on, front spindles and the bigger bigger calipers uh, and bleed the brakes, put the bigger master on, all that jazz. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, but yeah, that was about, about 45 minutes to do and I mean I wasn't even really trying to go fast, I was just doing it. So I mean it's very simple, that quick. Thanks for watching and then uh, we'll do a test drive here shortly after I do the spindles. 